Hey everybody, Sean here, and I hope you're doing well. We're back again with more from Cat Kerr, so let's jump right in. And special thanks to Renee Petrillo for sharing this. Why do we continue to cover Cat Kerr? It's not for the regular Revealing Truth community, but to reach out to anyone that is following Kat Kerr and help you realize that this woman is not hearing from God, traveling to heaven, or teaching you the truth of God's Word. My question is, what do you really, what do the really wild guys do in heaven, and which of the really wild activities are Jesus' favorites to participate in? What does he like to well, I have to, his absolute favorite, and not necessarily a wild activity, is eating sweets. And I oh, know wow. people, he loves to have, he, he throws celebrations in his own mansion. Yes, he has a mansion. He had to live as a human on the earth. He deserves one. First off, anything about Jesus' hobbies or interests in heaven is known only by Cat Kerr and cannot be confirmed by scripture. And this is what many deceivers do with their so-called experiences. And secondly, is an interesting thing that many unknowingly have believed, including myself. We don't have mansions in heaven. If we read John 14, 2 and 3, it says, In my Father's house are many rooms. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go there to prepare a place for you? And if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself, that where I am you may be also. The King James Version translates this as mansions, when most other versions use the word rooms or dwelling places. I did a study on this, and every single article I read agreed the Greek word mone does not mean a literal mansion. It more correctly means a dwelling place or an abode. The word is used only twice in the New Testament and both times by Jesus. The other verse is John 14, 23. Jesus answered and said to him, If anyone loves me, he will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him and make our home with him or abode with him. Without going into too much detail, Jesus is saying that in God's home, heaven, there will be many people in the family of God all abiding together. Within God's heavenly house, Christians will live in the presence of the Lord. You can do your own further research on this. But Jesus living in a mansion is nowhere in the Bible, as Cat is saying. He has his own place in heaven. He is in the throne room. A lot of... Uh... Many, many, many times when people are caught up, they see him. But they've also seen Jesus out around heaven doing things and stuff like that. He also, not necessarily wild again, but he does love, he does like to ride the roller coasters. Um, but he does love to make things still with his own hands. And he does still build things like we were just talking about. But I think, um, I know Peter's fishing. <laughs> Yeah, now you Kim Robinson, who's who's been to heaven many times. Heaven, I see Peter. He is still fishing. Kim Kim Robinson, Roberts Robinson, and just to let you know, Kim Robinson is another favorite of Steve's with her stories of going to heaven and to hell, and many other crazy stories as well. She teaches how to go to heaven. I'll tell you how to go to heaven. Repent and put your faith in Jesus Christ. To anyone believing these people, if traveling to heaven was possible and something God wanted us to do, don't you think he would have told us how to do this in the Bible? Kim, Kim Robinson, Roberts Robinson, who's been to heaven many times, has seen Jesus on a motorcycle racing with her. He wanted her to come along. Does that make sense to you that Jesus would love that as well? Yeah, I was about to add one of the things I know. There are actually trails, and I saw them. Trails. A friend of my brother's passed away, and God showed me him in heaven. He was a biker. Um, he had a ministry with, with motorcycles. And I saw him in heaven riding on this awesome motorcycle. Flames were coming out the back, of the, like a flames of light and fire. And but then I actually I didn't actually ride on the trails, but I saw these trails of uh, fire trails, they called them all around the sky of heaven. And other people who, who were bikers, the ones that some I recognized, some I did not, were following this person all around on these trails um, in, in heaven. And so I'm quite sure if it's something like that. I know Jesus loves, loves, loves horses. He loves to go ride his horse as fast as he can ride his horse. His horse's name is Lightning. 
But he does also like to ride on those trails. Please, if you are following any of these people Steve interviews and supports, realize that there's something very wrong with all of them. 2 Timothy 3.13 describes these people as evil and imposters that are themselves deceived and are deceiving others. And think about it. If all this stuff was possible, like learning how to go to heaven, why isn't Steve telling us his stories of going to heaven? This is no different than Sid Roth not doing any of the things his phony guests say that they can teach you. I pray, if you are following any of these people, that God would open your eyes to his truth and draw you away from these deceivers. We're going to leave it here for today, but as always, leave your thoughts in the comments below. And until next time, take care and God bless.